Alright guys, welcome back. CFP here and this is Survival Living. This is life. So, I am back home. It's been a rough day. All new job days are rough days. But anyway, I've got to change the water pump. It's been leaking for a while now. I've known it's been leaking. Uh, we've just been now in position that we can afford to change the water pump. I want to give a real quick shout out to Alaska Prepper. We got this water pump, guys. Alaska Prepper has always been a huge supporter with our channel. And no, I'm not out there with my hand out begging people for stuff. Alaska Prepper had uh, hooked me up. He had uh, sent me a PayPal the other day. And um, it's just right when we needed it. I mean, it's going to be a while before I get my first check at work. My wife's still working. So I do apologize for the hicks over there hooping and hollering. Um, yeah, and I do apologize for the language from them yelling at their kids. Awesome. Great parents. Anyway, so we got ourselves a new water pump. I did open this up just to make sure everything was correct. And yeah. Ooh. Nice and shiny. So we will be changing that out. Uh, I will not be changing out tonight because I'm just beat. All right, I had to go pick this up today after work. And I also had to fill up our propane for our heater. Um, for those that's been with the channel for a while, you know that we have a tankless water heater All right, for our trailer. That thing's been working awesome. It's, it's been great. It's been one of the best buys we've ever purchased in a while. Uh, so we use a 20 pound propane tank on it. We had to give up a lot of our propane tanks during our move. We just wouldn't know any better. Anyway, that 20 pound, we filled that thing up right before everything started getting locked down. So here it is, October now. Two people using it, showering every day. Lasted a very long time. Actually, when I went and filled it up, it filled up at 4.40 pounds. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing buy. I really like that shower, that tankless water heater we have. But anyway, guys, so, yeah, we've got to take the shroud off. This thing does have a clutch fan on. So, with a clutch fan, they're not hard. I've worked on cars most of my life. It's just... Um, nitpicky stuff we got a lot of rain weather coming up which kind of sucks but i got a lot of tarp materials so what i'm thinking about doing is draping over a tarp right here shooting it off so i can work underneath here i got some great work lights now um so yeah i think it's gonna work out just fine i am worried about our garden the stuff that we planted in our garden the amount of rain we've got coming in here i'm not surprised if our garden does not get washed out i really I don't see it surviving. Temperature's changing really quick here too. It's getting a lot cooler at night. A lot cooler during the daytime. So, this will fix this problem right here, guys. And again, Alaska Prepper, I really do appreciate it. Alaska Prepper's like, when I call him, he's like, mate, dude, you don't have to say anything. I don't mind saying something. Um, the amount of support and help I've gotten from our community and other YouTube communities has been amazing. I, I never would have thought that we would have ever been able to build what community that we've already built in such a short time. I mean, last April of last year is when we did our first video. We reached out, we've helped a lot of people. I'm sure we've done some giveaways and things like that. We've had, I, my family's had a lot of help from other people. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really blown away. Now, does it mean I still have a lot of hard work to do? Absolutely. I mean, that's why I went and got another job. When I got laid off, I tried to do the unemployment stuff I got denied so what do I do cry about it no go get another job so it is what it is all right so we are uh, gonna be working on this tomorrow night I don't know maybe I can pop off a live stream for you live stream working on the truck yeah that sounds like fun don't it so anyway guys as you can see there's not a lot of room in there there you go so we got the fan the clutch is on the other side of the fan we're not worried about that you got a big nut down there 
all right that is a 36 millimeter nut I do have the appropriate wrenches for that then you got your nuts for your pulley so I'm gonna bust that loose take that off after take off the shroud and stuff get that out of the way and then we go in there we've reduced the uh, remove the uh, belt tension on this take the belt off after we loosen off our pulley take that off and then we take our water pump off and then we reassemble all back together again so that is that guys um yeah it's not really prepping is it actually having the ability to work in your own vehicles when things break down to me it's prepping having that knowledge having the knowledge to actually work on something is going to be key um granted though having access to a lot of automotive parts it'd be wise to stock up on that but you never know what's going to go out on a vehicle all right i mean yeah water pump they do go out um, I already hear the comments now. Well, it's because you got a Chevy. Trust me, I've changed water pumps on Dodges, Fords, uh, foreign cars. It doesn't matter. Water pumps go out. There's always something good. This is a 99 model. It's cheaper for me to repair than it is for me to go buy a brand new vehicle that I can't work on, and they do break down. I used to work for a dealership. They break down all the time. All right. So, I'm not saying you got to go buy an older car. I like having an older car because I understand them. I can easily work on them. All right. For those that are spouting off about, well, you need to get a new car, blah, blah, blah. Do you know how to fix a car? Do you know how to rebuild an engine? I do. I rebuilt my first one-barrel carburetor at the age of 12. It's Rochester. Yeah. I'm not a smart man. I am mechanically inclined. That's what my ASVAB test proved for the U.S. military. Mechanicals, that's my thing. The other stuff, not so much, all right? So I stay in my lane. This here is my lane. Sometimes it's the breakdown lane, but oh well. All right, guys, so again, I'm going to be working on this tomorrow. And, uh, well, tomorrow night when I get back. Uh, oh, yeah, so we got our brake done. That's a new brakes, master brake cylinder there. Um, this is ABS here. I had air in my ABS. <laughs> you know, when I got back from the camping trip, that went out. I couldn't figure out, you know, I just had no pressure. I had air in the line. Couldn't figure out what was going on. I wound up getting air in the ABS. Uh, there was a relief valve, uh, like a bleeder valve, on this. Never knew about that. That was something new. Um, but yeah, I fixed it. I got rid of that. You know, we got a new alternator. We got a, new, a lot of new parts on here. Okay. I like having new parts. So, anyway guys, talk to y'all later.